welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we making a beef and potato stew with me, A.B. Now, if you're new to my channel, listen, this channel is all about taking the mystery out of making these recipes, you know, things that we used to go to our grandmama. All we knew is Granny would be in the kitchen with that tall pot, we looking up, and it took forever, but then when we sat down for dinner, listen, wasn't it good? So listen, I just wanna show you with our busy schedule in today's society, this is how you can make it, super easy. And listen, here's the key, this is the pro tip. Listen, get the recipe and get all your ingredients and get them lined out. That makes it super simple for you to just go ahead, dump them in, stir it up, set your crock pot and get it in. And with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, what you see here, listen, we wanna start with, you know, you wanna go ahead and start cubing our chuck roast. This one right here is like two and a half pounds. So remember this, listen, the size of the chunks or the cubes that you make, is that's the size it's gonna be. It's gonna shrink just a little bit. And right here, I'm just showing you guys, you know how I did it. You can see the streaks of fat. Listen, we wanna trim that. So right here, you see that fat right there? What I'm doing is I'm just cutting it, just trimming it, because you don't want that fat to be, you know, that, that greasy film, you know, inside of your uh, stew. So just go ahead and cut them. Cut them, you know, again, I'm trimming right here. And then again, you just wanna go ahead and cut them into whatever size bites you would like for them to be inside of your stew. Now here, I just take the onion, I'm just gonna go ahead and dice it up. And listen, we just wanna have a half a cup of diced onions. It doesn't matter, I mean, you can go over a little bit, it's really up to you. Once you made this, you can tailor make this uh, recipe, you know, to fit your needs and fit your taste buds. But right here, we just wanna start with just a half a cup of diced onions. Now, in a bowl, you wanna add your flour, salt, and pepper. You know, together, you wanna mix it well, and then you wanna get your uh, beef cubes, and you wanna take your beef cubes and coat them on all sides, and then we're gonna add it, add the coated beef cubes, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown them. We're gonna put them in a hot skillet with a little bit of that extra virgin olive oil, and then we're gonna brown all sides. Now you want to add a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to your pan. You want to get your pan, you want to bring it up to a medium heat. And then after you finish coating all of your beef cubes, you want to go ahead and add it to the pan. Remember, listen, we just want to brown it. We don't want to cook them. So listen, it's not going to be cooked thoroughly. Sometime when you flip them over, you're going to be able to see a little bit of red. But what we're doing is we just want to add a little bit of color to our cubes. And that's going to make it, you know, for a great presentation when you're done. So once you're done browning all, all of the sides of your beef cubes, then go ahead and just dump them inside of your, your crock pot, including the drippings. That's where your flavor is at. And then we're gonna go ahead and move to cutting up our uh, potatoes. Now here, size is up to you how you wanna do it. Just keep in mind the size that you cut them, you know what, they gotta go in your mouth. If you want bite size, you can cut them bite size. If you want them, a little bit, be, want them to be a little bit bigger, you can cut them a little bit bigger, you know, break them with a fork or a spoon, however you wanna do it. But then once you get them cut, then you can see right here, I cut them into uh, fours also, one fourth. You know, so we'll just call that quarters. Then I just go ahead and start adding everything to the crock pot. So we had the beef cubes after they were uh, brown. We came back and then we put the potatoes, we got onions, then we got that W sauce, and then we'll just continue on. Look, this right here is a fire roasted uh, diced tom uh, tomatoes. This right here is another little, you know, key pro tip. 
I'm using fire roasted tomatoes, that's awesome. And then we come back with dried oregano, you know, and then the rest of the ingredients. You got paprika. And then listen, there's one thing you didn't see me do right here. Listen, I gotta tell you this. That, okay, right here you see I'm adding the garlic. You know, that's one garlic clove. I use my uh, my uh, spoon, you know, to break it, open it up. And what you did not see me do is I added three cups of beef broth. Remember, three cups of beef broth, and then you wanna stir it and get it all mixed up. And then, you know, finally, then the last thing you do is you add, listen, you can add one, it depends on if the bay leaf is big. It could be one big bay leaf, and you can see the bay leaves I had right there were kind of small, so I went ahead and used just three. And then right here, listen, I'm setting it. We're gonna cook it on high. I cooked it on high for five and a half hours. If you wanna cook it on low, you double it. So that would have been 11 hours on low. So with that being said, you guys, that's what it looks like once it's done. That right there came out real nice. And if you like, if it comes out a little bit, you know, a little bit too much liquid, you can always add two tablespoons. I call this a slurry. You can mix two tablespoons of flour, a tablespoon of butter, you know, and a little water, and then add it to your uh, liquid, and that will uh, help thicken it up, and then cook it for about 15 minutes. So tell me what you guys think about that there. I want you guys to leave a comment down, you know, down below and let me know, did you know that making a beef and potato stew was really just this easy? So remember, that's what this channel is about. Just, you know what, just taking the mystery out of cooking, you know, doing our prep work first and getting everything readily available. And then from there, we go ahead and, you know, create these amazing dishes. And I can tell you this, this crock pot right here, it does it all. And listen, you can do it in the crock pot or you can do it in the stove. I like doing it on a crock pot because listen, you can cook it throughout the day. You can come in from a you know a cold day, you know what I mean, and get your soul warmed up. And you don't have to worry about when you're on the fire, it's got to be like super low so that you don't burn anything on the bottom of the pot. And with that being said, you know what? Listen, if you guys are new to my channel, let me go ahead and just say hey, welcome to my channel. You know what, go ahead and don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And with that being said, you guys, you know what? I'm out. Peace.